Right in my last post I told you all of a mom who thought I should be put in special ed simply for being autistic. In order to do this, she spread lies about me being a violent sociopath who beat up her kid Julie, my best friend at the time. But she was caught in the lie and was left alone fuming over failing to get me booted into special ed. Well, she tried almost the exact same thing six years later, but even worse and this time it ended very badly for her. Also obligatory phone excuse and I have tendency to digress. This will probably be a long one. Some extra backstory in the years since she was caught in the lie, she has gotten a divorce it like to believe it was because of what she did to me, but well. It's more likely it was just part of the issues their marriage faced. She has kept trying to lobby to have me removed and has even tried to remove her daughter from the school I heard from Julie that she actually claimed that she had more rights to Julie. Because she was the mom, and was promptly told that's not how shared custody works. She failed in all these attempts. It became so bad that the school asked my mom, my dad they are divorced too, and me if she should be banned from parent meetings and such. My dad might not have been the best dad growing up, but he was protective of me and did teach me some good lessons on how to be a good man, didn't want her near me. My mom was gracious and said she had a right to know about her daughter's education and my mom taught me her grace, so I was cool too. None of this made her rethink her actions by the way. Anyways, on to the story. This was during the time where I was taking this course in regards to my sensory and balance difficulties. I was 12 years old now and I am not a tall boy, but I am a big boy. I'm outside of the place where I had my class, waiting for a taxi to pick me up. Quick side note I am in the bad part of town, and in Denmark, much like in the US there's white people emulating the accent, style and slang of inner city African Americans. In Denmark our version is Middle Eastern people, mostly Turks, and white people emulating them, they're called plastic perker it's just as subtly racist as Wigger. This will be important. While waiting, I get accosted by a girl gang you read that right, we actually had trouble with girl gangs in my area made up of Middle Eastern teen leader, and plastic perker 1, 2, and 3, ages 14-16 probably. They start out with chanting derogatory names, fat pig, white bitch, Danish shit, keep in mind three of them are white and Danish, when I don't respond to them, they get close, blowing their cigarette smoke in my face, pushing me around, starting to back me up against a wall. I'm of course very uncomfortable with this, but I say nothing. It's four against one and they're girls, I'm a boy. My dad taught me never to hit a woman. I try to get away from them. But that's when their ringleader pulls a knife on me, and I freeze and they begin burning me with their cigarettes. My dad might have taught me not to hit a woman, but he also taught me to defend myself if I felt threatened and door for self-preservation. I had severe anger issues that I had conquered on my own, but right there, I saw red. I actually don't remember what I did, but I remember them running away screaming, and I had a cut on my arm and a knife in my leg. Taxi arrived to see them run away and me bleeding, he immediately gets me into the car, drives me to the hospital and calls my mom and dad on the way. I'm out again later that day, wasn't that severe actually, hit nothing vital and I barely felt pain. Word travels fast of course, Mostly because I'm bragging my ass off for managing to fight off four people older than me, who had a knife, and somehow survived. Our EP hears this, and this time twists and spins it not only to my class, but multiple, both older and younger on the school and in the neighborhood that I am a violent psychopath. Specifically targeting girls, and tries to build up support to have me arrested note, I have already talked to police at this point. The girl gang in question were in the middle of being processed. 
My actions deemed self-defense and I'm not in any kind of trouble of course not every parent of every class knows about me, but most of the kids in my class has older and younger siblings. Her lies are very quickly quelled and she is banned from the school property, and my mom's grace have been thrown out the window. My mom and dad agreed on very few things, being divorcees, but they did agree that the EP deserved to get arrested for lies and slander. The legal system agreed too. She pledged freedom of speech, and was told that it didn't cover lies and slander. TL Drive I get jumped by a girl gang, manage to fight my way out, emerge wounded. Entitled parent twists it into me stalking and beating girls up. Gets taken to court for it and loses. That was the follow up to my tale where a mom tried to put me in special ed, and here she went nuclear. The sad part is that despite the fact that she was proven to lie, I still got a reputation as this was far from the only time I saw Ed, I had broken ribs and nose of a bully a couple years earlier. Luckily this was also the year I moved schools. Anyways, I had no further altercations with this EP, but I am sure she saw me moving schools as a victory.